What's up, JKationers? Welcome to a new video here in Romania. We are in Cluj Napoca. It's about noon time and it's a little rainy today. We're going to tour Cluj Napoca, rain or shine. Check out some of the landmarks in Cluj Napoca's old town. So if you guys haven't seen my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button, uh, like it, and comment below if you have any questions or comments about Cluj Napoca. So guys, we're here in my balcony in Cluj Napoca overlooking the city. Ninth floor of this Airbnb. So uh, we have like some rundown building with a gym there where people are working out. I can see them through the window. And then a bunch of buildings and then the hills of Cluj Napoca surrounding us. And then this is my Airbnb. I got it for only about like 20 bucks a night. It's really nice for an Airbnb. Look at this. This is the room. Really nice decorations. The thing that's cool about this room is got a shower. I really dig this room. And then they also got some books here in the corner. For 20 euro a night, you can't complain. And then you got this beautiful patio to look over Cluj Napoca. You see some parts from the distance. Now we're gonna head over to the old town. All right guys, we'll see you there. If you look behind the cityscape and into the hills, you'll find Hoya Forest, which is the world's most haunted forest with rumored portals to another dimension and paranormal activity. This is the hallway, but the inside of the apartment is super nice, so no complaints. This is the place in Cluj, but we're on the ninth floor, so I gotta take this old elevator downstairs, and I'm gonna grab a bolt. So that's the primary means of rideshare here is bolt. So I just ordered a bolt, it was about 10 lei, which is maybe $2.20. And yeah, it's gonna take me to the old town. But the weather being bad and you know, I figured it'd be better if I just take grabs around town. I'm sorry, if I take bolts around town. Cluj Napoca is labeled as the heart of Transylvania and the unofficial capital of the region. The town is known for its universities, bustling nightlife, and landmarks dating back to the Saxon and Hungarian rule. Commonly known as Cluj, it's the third most populous city in Romania with over 411,000 inhabitants. After to talking to some of the locals here in Cluj, I didn't realize that Transylvania, there is a minority of people. The bolt driver said it was about 20% that are born here and they still consider themselves Hungarian. They speak Hungarian. They say that they're Hungarian born and bred, but even though Transylvania is Romania. That's an interesting fact. Even though there are people here that a majority consider themselves Romanian, but there is about 20% give or take of people that are considered Hungarian that are born and raised here. People have been asking me, a dude like me from California, why are you here in Cluj Napoca? Well, I do have friends that are Romanian, shout out to Flo, and she said Cluj is a beautiful place to go, so I believe in her word, and this is why we're in Cluj after Budapest. I want to see new things, experience places that maybe crazy tourism doesn't exist in, so this is, this is it, Cluj Napoca. I don't know how I've gone 10 days without withdrawing money from the bank. I've just used my card the whole time, but I think eventually I'm gonna have to pull out some money. I'm here for like another three days at least. My travel plans are about to change with everything going on in Italy. I might have to pull out some money. I think I'm gonna go to the Transylvania bank and uh, grab some cash from there. Got into this little square that uh, selling some arts and crafts. I'm guessing they don't got card. They don't accept cards in these places. So definitely gonna get some cash, some lay. But check out this statue right here. Matthias Corvinus was the king of Hungary and Croatia in the 1400s and was from Cluj Napoca. This right behind me is the famous statue of Matthias. And uh, yeah, they always talk about it when uh, I'm in a bolt or something. They're just like, you gotta see the statue. So this is the statue that everybody's talking about in the middle of, I think this is Uniri Square. A lot of beautiful buildings here. So 
that right behind me is the municipal building of Cluj-Napoca. I like taking pictures in front of buildings like that. They got the name of the town, and I don't have to work that hard on Instagram to let them know where I'm at. Uniri Square is the largest and most important square in Cluj-Napoca. If you visit Romania, you will notice that a lot of cities have their own version of a Uniri Square, which means Union Square in Romanian. Iliu Hasu was a Roman Greek author who was appointed the Bishop of Cluj Gerla and he was elevated to Cardinal but it wasn't known until it was disclosed after his death. Just a couple minutes walk on Boulevard Areoler from Uniri Square, you will come across the Assumption Orthodox Cathedral and the National Theatre of Cluj Napoca. In front of the National Theatre, you'll find this monument of Avram Iancu who was a prominent Romanian lawyer. Right, right behind me is the Orthodox Cathedral. I know it's definitely really cheap to take public transportation around here, the buses and all the uh, carts that they have around here, but I don't understand the language, I don't know how to get around, so Bolt is the best way to go. So I just went to the Banco Transylvania and I got 200 lei which is about 50 bucks. I've observed a lot of these places take cards but I still wanted to have a little bit of money just in case. It was probably a little more expensive but I went to this gift shop and picked up a Cluj Napoca magnet. But now I'm just going to walk around and uh, just venture the city a little more while the daylight's out and it's not raining anymore so might as well stay out. I'm only here for a day, so you gotta see it. You gotta maximize your time in these places, especially if you only have one or two days here. Found my mom a little souvenir here in Cluj Napoca. Just roaming around these artisan craft areas and uh, trying to figure out the next place to go. I'm telling you guys, Messi is the man wherever in the world that you go, even in Romania. Definitely not climbing up that hill even though they said it's got the best views for a sunset. I'm on the ninth floor of a nice building so I got some nice views there. <laughs> Looks like a little anti-communist monument here with a bunch of names carved on the sides. We have now reached their version of Central Park, which is called, I think it's translated as Center Park here in uh, Cluj Napoca. It's a nice little straightaway walk. I'm sure there's a lot of things to do around here too. It looks like a long straightaway, so I don't know how far I'm going to get down. After this long straightaway to the left, uh, apparently there's a lake with a casino and some bars and stuff. So I want to go check that out. About a six minute walk from where we're at right now. Apparently that building right there is a casino in the middle of a park. I'm guessing they're targeting all these old men going for strolls, hanging out by the benches. They see this nice uh, shiny casino and they down to play some craps, some blackjack and roulette and whatever they feel like. I see where you guys are going here in uh, Cluj Napoca. So I'm guessing that's the bar slash restaurant that's definitely closed this time of year. So we've arrived to their stadium. Cluj Arena was built in 2011 with a seating capacity of 30,200 and is home to the second level Romanian Football League team. I didn't know there's any Filipino places here. Meron or voila. Just went to a local care for market, grabbed some water and a couple essentials. So I've seen pizza pino and now da pino for this Filipino. Mm. 
I'm thinking this right here is the strand of wall that used to be surrounding the city of Cluj-Napoca. All right, Jaycationers, so I'm back in my Airbnb after a long day around Cluj-Napoca and went around the town and checked up all the different churches, opera houses, uh, parks, city walls, and everything. If you have any questions about Cluj-Napoca, please comment below. Subscribe if you're discovering my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And also comment below for any questions. I'll see you guys later.